Hello everyone and you're so much welcome to today's tutorial and I still remain your most wealthy shoe making made easy tutor Odurole Mojibola and today we are going to be learning how to create the pattern for this beautiful letter heel shape women's slippers with accessory you can see how beautiful this slide looks like i'm going to be showing us how you can use a a particular shape that i've taught us a particular pattern i've taught us before to create this particular one and if you're watching my channel for the first time please subscribe to my channel press the notification bell so that each time i upload a video you will be notified and don't forget to like this video please do me a favor sit back and i'm gonna be right back so like i said in today's tutorial we are going to be learning how to create a letter he shape design now and we are going to be making use of this letter h to create the letter he i have already taught us how to create uh, a h pattern now as you can see on the screen that particular thumbnail that is what you will find find on that particular you know video in case you want to go through my channel to check it out and i will try as much as possible also to keep it at the end of this particular video or please just ask me in the comment section and i will surely you know link you up with this particular video so i've taught us how to create this i won't be going back to it so but we are going to be using it to create our letter he you know women's slippers it's going to be very beautiful so the first thing i want us to first of all do now is we are going to actually use just this side we are using just this side and i'm going to start this way the i'm going to start this way i just want to first of all at least draw all of this out our letter e is already coming out so it means we have to include something at the center we have to include another strap at the center so how do you do that I'm going to advise that you go ahead and check what this particular width is. The distance between this side and this side. You have to check that out. That will help us to be able to know where to place that particular strap. And because we are having 5.5 here, we are having 5.5 from here to here. Now, normally if we are having 5, it's supposed to be 2.5. But now that we are having 5.5, it's going to be 2.75. That's going to be the midpoint. So just get where you I think it's simple when it comes to using your ruler. So what we are just going to do is, okay, check from here. This is 2.5. This is 2.6. 2.6, right? And this is 2.7. 2.75 is going to be in between this. So we have it here. Now let's now go ahead to for the as in to check this out. What is the width? The width that we are having here is um two centimeter. The width is two centimeter. So at this particular point, just keep your your ruler here. I have from here to here is one mark extend it by one I mean from this point where we have 2.75 extend by one centimeter come to this other side and extend by one centimeter don't forget at the end of the day you are having from here to here will be giving us two centimeter which is the width of the other straps so come to the other parts to and do the same thing so So now that we have already created this, the next thing we are going to be doing is we are going to be, you know, creating a curve at this end. And you know, I always love to come up with something to create my curve. You don't have to look for what is not lost. Just get um, something like um, something that is round. Make sure it's touching this side and touching this side. You can see I've created a curve right there. I'm going to be creating another one on this side as well. Okay. 
now you can see we have them all round and curved just like we have on our picture don't forget we are creating an e-shape now if you look at the design you'll find out that on this side there is actually an extension so which makes it look a bit different from totally being e so i'm going to suggest that you use them um, about 1.5 centimeter from here to here let it be 1.5 then come to this side and do the same thing 1.5 then you can come together so with the 1.5 this is similarly looking different So with this now, I can decide to also extend by the side. One centimeter should be fine. If possible, 0 0.7 centimeter. I mean from this edge to this side, from this side to this side, 0 0.75 or one centimeter should be okay. So if you are using one, this is, let me show us what one look like. If we are using one centimeter. So you can see how wide this look like. Then we are going to make use of another 1.5 again. So the rectangle is going to be a rectangle with 4 cm length and 1.5 cm wide. So that's it. If you don't want it to be as wide as that, please adjust yours. There's no one, it's not a one-way design. I just use to suit what you want. This is just like a guide. So you can see what I have around here. If you want yours to be wider than this, probably you want yours to be as wide as two centimeter fine. But you need to be very careful with this width so that by the time you are lasting this particular he letter, he standard, you are not going to be having issues with this side, you know, almost going under your your inner soul so it's better for you for it not to be too wide and then position like this so let me try and cut this out for us to see this particular side is going to be half it because at this point you're going to be inserting this under this particular one when you want to create your upper so let me go ahead and cut this out for us to see faith i told you every time you make a move god makes a move it's like the game of chairs when God makes a move, he will not make another move until you've made a move. When you make a move on earth, everyone makes a move there. Then it tells you after you do that, say, clear the ground of your tent. They used to live in tents in those days. In other words, if you are living in a warm bedroom, it says, go and get a two-bedroom. You've not been pregnant, it says, make that move. Because that is the way the kingdom operates. Clear the grounds for your tent. Make your tent larger. Spread out. Think big. Use plenty of ropes. Drive the ten pegs deep because you are about to receive harvest. I prophesy to you as we give thanks in this place today and as you understand the mystery of thanksgiving, expect unusual multiplication. Expect unusual multiplication. Now you can see what our letter E shape look like. Our design is actually as it is like this this is how it is it's actually complete this way now for those of us who have actually bought my pattern ebook template now if you're watching my channel for the first time i would love that you subscribe to my channel press the notification bell so that each time i upload a video you will be notified and if you have actually subscribed to my channel please support this channel by clicking the join button and see the various ways in which you can support my channel so that you can continually see beautiful videos videos like you are having today so if you actually bought my pattern template i have this particular design on the screen right on it and that design is for the the the, the, the slide that you've you've you see beside it i mean the slide beside that particular pattern that is what it is used meant for but you can actually adjust it to create this particular h shape so 
I believe when we get to the class, we can do that. For those of us who are just hearing about my pattern template, I have a pattern template ebook that has over 50 different designs with a free follow-up class for you to be able to understand one, the patterns and how to use those patterns to recreate a, a new patterns like I've just done now. There are a lot of patterns inside that particular ebook that you can use to recreate other ones. So if you're a beginner or probably you're having challenges with your pattern cutting, I think you should grab the pattern ebook, not just for the fact that you want to use them to create patterns, but for you to understand how you can use a pattern you have to recreate another one. So for those of us who have bought the pattern template, please let me know in class if you want me to show you the video on how to increase this, because that's basically what the follow-up class is all about. If you buy the pattern template, you have a free follow-up class where you will actually have access to asking questions about other designs, even other than what we have in the pattern template ebook. And what I do is I pick from the pattern template ebook and use to explain how you can recreate another one. So um, we are going to be using this particular one this intertwined design to actually create this particular H shape. And if you want to create the H shape yourself, fine, it's all good. Please just go ahead to uh, my, my, my YouTube channel and try to search using the particular thumbnail we have on the screen right now. So with what I have here now, we have our shape ready for this particular design. Now, once again, I need you to know that I have paid classes if you would like to be part of it. I have an intensive training for beginners. I have an advanced class which is basically on eels and how to create three-dimensional patterns. I also have a class on moves which is half shoe. So I need you to check those courses out. I have all of the description and the course outline. Just go to the description under this video. You will see all the links there. Just check them out. Check the course outline and see those you think will fit you know the next level in your shoe making training. Now in my next video tutorial i'm going to be showing us how to use this particular pattern how do i co um, create my upper using this how do i go about lasting i'm going to be showing us that in my next tutorial once again thank you for joining me today i still remain your most wealthy shoe making made easy tutor i'm going to see you next time bye